we're going to extend the Airport Extreme using the Airport Express. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, using an Airport Express in conjunction with the Airport Extreme. Um, in my home, my network is a little bit compromised as far as how far my office is from my uh, Airport Extreme and the router. To get better coverage, I've decided to extend my network using both of these products. Fortunately, Apple has created an excellent utility, which is Airport Utility, and the recent updates to that application are quite significant, which make it a pretty simple process to extend your network. All right, so let's go ahead and get to Airport Utility. Go to your applications, scroll all the way down to the bottom, find your utilities folder, and there you go, there it is. As far as that goes, it's, it's in my sidebar. I use it quite frequently to update and whatnot. Okay, here we go. We are inside Apple's Airport Utility. With that, as you can see, we can only see the extreme at this point because that's the only thing running. So if you look up at the top left-hand corner, um, it's stating that there is another airport base station available. So with that, we're going to go ahead and go up here and select that. And here is where we will see the express show up. When you select it from the drop-down, Airport Utility already recognizes that you're attempting to extend the network. So if you just follow the on-screen instructions within the utility, you will get it set up in, in no time. Some of the best practices while doing this, though, I would highly recommend that you place the Airport Express next to the extreme during the initial setup process as to establish the strongest connection between the two before moving the express to the location as which you intend to use it. So for example, my extreme is in my laundry room and my office is on the uh, opposite side of my home. So I set up the express directly on top of the airport extreme um, during this process. If you're following along with me at home, your airport express is probably in need of an update as mine is here in this example. So just go ahead and do that. Um, just follow along with the on-screen instructions as far as that goes. Uh, the Airport Express will be unavailable during this process. Um, we're going to take a look at the settings. If your Airport Extreme was already set up to manage multiple networks, um, if it was secured, all those preferences have been carried over to the Airport Express. And so essentially Apple's made it really easy to extend your network using this utility. A couple of things you'll need to keep in mind though, that the extension doesn't automatically enable your guest networks, nor does it enable your five gigahertz frequency. So you'll have to manually do that on the Airport Express. So just make sure you do that if you do have those things enabled on the Airport Extreme. In addition to that, the Airport Extreme must have those enabled for the extension to take advantage of those two options. Now that the network's completely set up, I wanted to run a performance test, just as one simple test for each. This first test here is the Airport Extreme working alone. Uh, this is what I was functioning on prior to extending my network. Um, I did experience some drops in speeds while in my office, uh, uploading YouTube videos, watching YouTube videos, uh, streaming music, etc. I wanted to validate my purchase and make sure it wasn't done in vain and hopefully help you make the decision if this is something you would like to do as well. Now, these speeds that you're seeing here are, are pretty decent. Um, if they were to maintain that rate, I, I don't think I would have needed the Express to extend my network as far as that goes. But like I said, I had been experiencing some, some moments where the Extreme just wasn't doing its job. I was experiencing significant drops in uh, download rates and upload rates. So with that, let's go ahead and enable the Airport Express and then retest it. I'm experiencing about five better download speeds with the network extended, but the uploads seem to have remained constant. With that, that concludes my video. Hopefully I've helped you make a decision if you were thinking of doing something similar to this. Uh, feel free to check out some of my other videos. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you're all having a great day.